So I don't think most men really consider what their short-term and long-term dating goals are when they enter any sort of dating community. And in this video, I wanna help with planning what those goals can be because I don't want guys, especially with what I have seen over the years, where they kind of get stuck in the world of doing day game or, uh, or pick up and they don't really grow out of it and they just end up getting consumed by it because they haven't got an exit strategy or they just don't know how to recognize when a good thing comes along and what they need to do about it. And this is why having a short-term and long-term dating goals in place is really important, I think, for any man to, uh, to consider. So that's what I wanna cover in this video with you today. And in fact, just already, just to save a bit of time, uh, I've written short-term and long-term dating goals here. So although typically I think most men will actually consider, uh, you know, what they want in the short term, Let, let's just look at what the long term is first and then we're gonna sort of somewhat reverse engineer this. So if I just sort of click here, uh, so what do I mean by long term goals? Well, I want you to have a think about what are you looking for in the long term? Are you looking to, uh, let's just change the size of that. Are you looking to have a family? Um, are you looking to have kids? Are you looking to get married? So let me just write this again. So have a family, uh, get married. Oh, that's why that's doing that. There we go. There we go. That's going to be much easier now to, to do this. Um, you know, are you looking, um, to have a girlfriend? My goodness, my spelling again today. <laughs> <laughs> it was, I swear, it was perfectly fine just before. Um, so, you know, are you looking to have uh, have a girlfriend? Now, these might be some of the, the typical uh, relationship kind of goals that, that men are going to have. But also, you know, it wouldn't be fair to say that you are going to get the guys who, you know, they are just looking to say, stay single. Single. Jesus, bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> my spelling today uh you know see okay so you've got then you know you'll have the guys who are also uh they're looking to stay single um or maybe they might also want multiple relationships and you might get um uh guys like like this who have been in relationships before or and they've gone from being very conservative to being maybe uh, a lot more liberal um, or you've just got people who are just very open and very comfortable with uh, being in those sorts of relationships. So, you know, having this long-term goal is important certainly to be able to recognize that when you're doing your short-term dating, if let's say you end up meeting someone who is just absolutely amazing, you want to consider being open to that. Because certainly one of the problems that I have seen with guys when they haven't got uh, an idea or they don't know how to recognize those good things when they do come along is that they tend to let them go. And most dating coaches that I know who have kind of stuck with this idea of um, that they have to be single if they're gonna be a dating coach, you know, they have missed out and certainly have a lot of regret over relationships that they could have had. And, you know, and they can live a little bit in uh, of a life of resentment. And I don't want really other guys to, um, to be experiencing that. You know, if you're going to be working on your dating life, consider what do you want to get out of it? What would make you the most happy? Because you don't want to be spending the rest of your life, you know, walking around on the street to go and talk to strangers, uh, which I have seen that happen to many guys in the past. And they're just not happy. So you need to have a long-term idea in mind 
What is the purpose of you getting into a dating community? If you're looking for a girlfriend or if you're looking for a relationship, if you're looking for the one even, or if you're looking for multiple relationships, multiple partners and so on, then it's a good idea just to recognize that and be aware that, you know what? If I meet someone amazing, I need to be okay with the idea of not you know, having lots of short-term dating and being committed to one person or multiple people or whatever. So that is long-term dating. Again, it's just a good idea just to have that uh, in place. But now sort of taking a step back, well, what are you looking for in the short term? Well, you know, typically I think with a lot of the marketing that happens over the years with, you know, dating, you know, that you can meet and attract any woman that you want, you know, a lot of guys are doing it because, or they claim that they're doing it. And that's, this is the important thing for this point is that they, they claim that they're doing it because they want to have a, you know, one night stands or they want to have uh, a bit of fun or they're just kind of like looking to um, uh, learn more about themselves uh, sexually. I would say. So uh, a lot of men that I would I have met over the years, they haven't really, you know, had that kind of like sexual liberation or they just don't know what um, what they want, you know, on the sexual side of things. So being able then to kind of like meet uh, different kinds of women from different backgrounds, different cultures and whatnot, it just allows them to um, sort of develop their confidence, I think, really just on the sexual side of things. But uh, again, you know, this is what most men will claim that they want, when in reality, a lot of men that I have met, they are getting into the world of the, the dating community, or they're looking to uh, basically um, date to uh, work out what they want in an ideal partner. And this is probably the one that most guys get into uh, the dating scene for. They want to develop their confidence, find a relationship and uh, and work towards it. They want to build their confidence. They want to be uh, more sexually interesting, I suppose, to the partners that they end up meeting until that right woman comes along that essentially they've done all of this training for to be able to be the man that, you know, that she deserves, you know. I'm trying to think if there was another way to word that, but no, I, th I think that kind of makes sense. So so that then tends to be what, um, what guys want in the short term and long term. But this is one of those that it, it depends on the person. And this is why I think this is just a really great exercise for men to do, because it gets you to think about, what is it that you want? Forget about the dating coaches out there. Forget about what your friends or colleagues might say. You know, uh, forget about all these dating gurus online or what you hear in these podcasts. You know, it's what do you want? Are you looking for a relationship? Are you looking to be single? Have you been in a relationship? Have you got out of a relationship? Are you now divorced? You know, these different ideas that I've got written down here are going to apply to people who have been single most of their life, to guys who just had no confidence and they're now trying to develop their confidence with women. You've got the guys who have been in a relationship for a very long time and they're single now and they don't know what they want and they're trying to figure things out. Or you've got the guys who have maybe become widowed or they were in abusive relationships or they've been cheated on or they're now divorced and they're trying to at least discover what do they want out of life and if they're focusing on the dating then you know it's going to be an each to their own scenario here but decide what you want and for at least for now stick with it but I will um, just list a couple of other things just to bear in mind uh, with this. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just shift uh, all of the points that I have for long term just to move that up a little bit so I can write 
a few more things down here. Now, another thing just to um, to bear in mind, I've got the hiccups now, um, is that at the very least, the sizing here, dearie me, if that would do this bit, a little bit bigger, there you go. So at the very least, I want you to plan, plan at least your short term goals. Now, it would be great if you can have a long term goal in mind as well. But the reality is, is that plans change. And that's just another thing uh, as well, is that yeah plans change and that's okay but at least for now just having ideas in mind of what you want is just a really good thing so you might be let's say a guy who um, you've grown up not being very confident maybe you haven't had uh, enough experiences of being around women and you've got into the dating industry or communities because you want to develop that confidence and you want to be better with women. So in your short term dating, maybe you are um, certainly you're looking to just be more confident and certainly just get a bit more sexual experience. But you might have as your long term goal, you want to have a girlfriend um, and then as time goes on with it, maybe through certain experiences in particularly that you've had, you might then change your mind. You might go, you know what? I actually, I don't want to have a family. I don't want to have kids. I don't want to get married. I'd rather just stay single. Then that is absolutely okay if your decision goes from wanting a girlfriend to just wanting to forever stay single and not having kids. But then you might also have the guys who have uh, have changed their mind and they're like, you know what? All I have ever, all I keep on having is one night stands. I want someone who's much more special to me. I want to be with someone more than just one night. I want someone who likes me for me rather than just a superficial and short term life that I've got. So the plans may constantly change, okay? And that is okay. But again, it's good to at least have a short-term goal in mind. And if you can, try and have a long-term goal, but bear in mind that your long-term plans might change. So another point as well is to be able to recognize, let me change that again, is that I want you to be able to recognize when that moment happens when you can shift to long term. Okay, uh, that's that sentence probably doesn't quite quite make sense there, but uh, I want you though to recognise when you can actually shift into the long term and be okay with letting go of your short term um, dating goals. You know, don't get yourself trapped in the dating community by not taking the opportunity to experience the finer things and perhaps maybe better things in life. If you just want to forever be single, then that is absolutely okay. But you know, you might again find that your long-term goals might end up changing. You might want something that is going to be a bit different, but it's absolutely okay even if you want to be single in your long-term plans too. But just recognize whatever that shift is. Maybe you're someone who's been in relationships and that's your short-term dating goal and it then your plans change and say, you know what, I just want to be single. So just recognizing that shift and being okay to shift from your long-term goals to your short-term goals or your short-term goals to your long-term goals. Oh yes, and my, my last point as well here uh, is... Um, that having a long-term plan in place means that you do have at least some kind of exit strategy from the dating community. Now, I've actually got another video talking about the pickup cycle. And on the third phase, there is um, a moment where either guys kind of reach their peak by you know, getting that sexual confidence and having all the experiences that they wanted, um, and you get the guys who 
just constantly forever want that or they move into wanting a relationship and actually forming and having relationships and they tend to just sort of mature out of this sort of like pubescent uh horny teenager kind of phase so it's good again if when you can recognize that moment but when you've got at least a long-term goal set it means that you do have an exit strategy and it's just really important i just don't want to see guys trapped in the dating community you need to take what you need from it and then you need to move on um and that's not saying that to you know be nasty or rude or um even you know uh, offensive but it's just important to make sure that i i just don't want guys to you know 10 years down the line they are still walking around the streets of london and they've just got this very weird behavior about themselves because they've only developed a certain kind of social skill or social intelligence of just that five minute sales pitch on the uh, the street so um, recognize when enough's enough and when you need to shift into moving to other things and in fact even come to think about it your long-term dating goals could be or even short term maybe even is actually having a window of time of how much time you want to dedicate to being part of a dating community you might go you know what in my short term i want to have a bit of fun maybe for like two years and then after that i really want to look into having a long-term relationship with someone so even that consider but i want you to try this exercise and i want you to consider your own short-term and long-term dating goals there's no right or wrong with this but it's just good to give yourself that clarity on what you're looking for why are you coming into a dating community why are you going to a dating coach why are you looking to make a difference for your dating life and it will just help you with taking action and also again reverse engineering what you need to be doing to achieve these and this is where it does come into um, into collaboration with the other video that I did about planning your dating goals this goes hand in hand with it um, and again this is something as well that I do give to uh, a lot of my clients when I'm doing the life coaching stuff with um, because I just think it's just a really great um, idea to give yourself this clarity and um, and uh, and goals to actually work towards so I'd love to hear your thoughts on this video and in fact in the comments below I'd actually love to hear what your short-term and long-term dating goals are even if they're very similar to what I've got here I would be fascinated to hear if there are any different goals that you are looking to achieve um, in the area of dating so other than that if you can please like the video and subscribe to the channel it really does help me out especially we grow in the channel and being able to help even more men with their anxiety and their confidence and certainly improving their day in life um, so if you can do them but otherwise thank you so much for watching if you need help check the description below i offer coaching but other than that until the next video, I've been that dating anxiety guy, Dan.